Modules provide organization and flow to your digital classroom. To create a module, click the plus sign, give your module a name, and you can also add prerequisites, so previous modules students needed to complete in order to start this module. That's an option. You can also lock a module and make it not available until a certain date if you'd like. So in this first module that I'm showing you, you can see that it provides a flow for your classroom. These icons represent pages. This one with a pencil represents an assignment. Paperclip is a file. Um, and the talk bubbles, like here, are a discussion. So students can instantly see if it's something they need to do or a resource for them. Um, you can also see that you can indent when you add um, things to a module. So it shows their importance or the relation to one another. So again, modules are just a way to organize and get the flow of your class going online. It's also important to note how to add something to a module. To add, you click the plus sign, and you can add either something you've already created, an assignment, or you can start a new assignment, or you can select a different type from the drop-down menu at the top. So you can select different types of inputs, and then you would say add item, and it would be added to that module. Also in the module, you can see if the item has been published or not. So the green check mark means it's been published. If you'd like that to be unpublished and not available to your students, you can simply check the check mark again, and it will go away. Bring back the green check mark, and students will be able to see that item.